Guys, just a quick video of how you can make your brand new armor not suck. Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars by selling on eBay and I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that nine till five and you wanna make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. So a little while ago, the armors used to come with this radio here, a tactic. Uh, and this, although it's a cheapy radio, it's actually pretty good. It feels nice in the hand, it feels fairly well made, uh, and it's got a good response. By response, I mean the distance between when you pull the trigger, and when the thing goes, and when you steer, and when it actually steers. With this, it was good, you didn't really notice any delay. But then they stopped supplying this, and they started supplying this. And this thing is awful. So it's got a massive delay, a massive lag. Uh, so what that means is you pull the accelerator, there's a, there's a big delay and then it goes. And the same when you wanna stop, you hit the brakes and it doesn't react straight away, it takes a little while and then it starts braking. The same with the steering. You wanna steer, you hit the steering, it takes a little while and then it steers. And it's, it's just awful guys. If you've got one of these and it just doesn't feel like you're connecting with it, it doesn't really feel like it's doing what you're telling it to do, that is why. And I'm not the only YouTuber to complain. There's many other YouTubers and on forums and all over Facebook, a lot of people complain about the delay on these new armors. It just makes the experience of owning it not fun at all. It makes it not fun to drive. So this thing is absolutely complete and utter junk and I just wouldn't use it for anything. Maybe for a crawler when you're going really slow maybe, but definitely not for something as fast as this. And then also, the servo that the armors come with, uh, they're, they're just slow and horrible and nasty and they don't last long. Uh, so in my opinion, to make the experience on these cars nicer, you have to ditch the radio and you have to ditch the servo and you have to upgrade it with something else. Now, what can you upgrade it with? So first of all, let's have a look at the servo. So this here is a EcoBoost. These are dirt cheap. I'm gonna put a link to this down below. So I've installed this into here now and that is there. Fits in there perfect, the spline lines up perfectly, everything plugs in, everything's perfect. I'm gonna show you the speed of that in a minute, uh, but this servo is so much faster, it's got so much more power. So I've already tested this in the video where I did a review on this, but the, the video was more of a, a review on this, so people that have got armors maybe didn't see the video, hence why I make this video like another version of it, uh, with this car in the thumbnail, and so people that actually have the brand new armor cars uh, it's going to kind of apply to them too. So I did a review on this radio here. I put this radio into there, so I'm not going to talk too much about this. Uh, but this thing here's got a colour screen on it. Got loads of options, but I'm not going to go into all that now. So this is the radio that I've got installed in here now, and now it feels perfect. We've got a good response. Everything's super fast. When you accelerate, it actually goes. When you hit the stop, it actually stops straight away. And all the steering and everything, everything's now instant. And now it feels connected. It feels like how it should actually feel out of the box. Uh, now this is relatively expensive. I mean, it's, it's cheap for what you get. Uh, you know, I don't really want to say cheap. People always moan at me. Cheap is a relative term. So, you know, it's kind of in relation to something else. So like a $50,000 Rolls Royce, for example, uh, would be cheap. But anyway, a lot of people don't understand that. They think that cheap is a set amount, like $20. So I'm not really, make your own mind up if it's cheap or not. But anyway, if you want a cheaper one, this radio here, I did a review on as well. So this here is actually super cheap. So I'm gonna put a link to this down below. This is a six channel radio. It's also got a gyro built into the receiver. Uh, so it's like the ABC that you get on like the, the more higher end spectrums. Uh, the Traxxas have got their own system. They call it the, what do they call it? They call it the TSM. So basically what that does is saying the back end steps out, it automatically reacts and steers in the opposite way. So it makes it a little bit easier on slidey cars. So this has got that function built in. You don't have to have it on, you can have it on and off. Uh, and you can set the throttle, uh, not the throttle position, the gyro gain on the channel six dial here. So you have it all the way up, that's maximum gain, uh, which means when it slides out, it's gonna steer a lot. Uh, and then you can have anything in, in between and you can have it also off. So when it's off, it's just normal, it doesn't do anything at all. Uh, so this radio is also super crazily 
responsive. Uh, so the same with this, when, when you accelerate, it actually accelerates. When you stop, it actually stops instantly. When, when you steer, it's all instant. And this feels pretty good in the hand too. And um, I'm actually running this radio in my Traxxas X01. This thing here uh, does 100 mile an hour. And the radio that this comes with is one of these sort of things here. Uh, the range isn't really that good and it went out of range. Uh, so obviously when we're doing 100 mile an hour, that's bad. We don't want it to go out of range. So I tried a different radio. I went on with this Spectrum radio here. Uh, I put the ABC receiver in there, which is this one here. So that's got that gyro stuff in there. Uh, and this, when it sort of got about 200 meters away, it went, the controls went super delayed, uh, very laggy. There wasn't much response and it went out of range as well. So um, this also wasn't a good option. So then I installed this radio and this radio did it perfectly. It went as far as we could see it and the steering and the throttle and everything, the response was still there like as, as, as if it was like really close to us. So this thing here for the price uh, performed absolutely perfectly. So how can you make your armor better? So to sum it all up, number one, put in a faster servo. This thing here, absolutely crazy cheap for what you get. AS Steve has run one of these in his HBR Savage for I think around about a year now with zero problems. I've only just installed it in this, so um, I've, from my experience, I haven't used it that much yet. All I can sort of tell you is from the feel of it, it feels perfect and it's fast. Uh, but reliability-wise, you know, from my personal experience, obviously I can't comment, uh, but as I said, uh, Steve's had this server in there for a long time. Uh, and then coupled with the radio, has actually made the driving experience on this now absolutely perfect. So I'm going to put a link to this down below. I'm going to put a link to that down below. I mean, this is probably going to be your cheapest option uh, to get this car really, really good. Uh, obviously, you could go with this radio as well if you want to get flashy. So I'm going to put a link to all of that stuff down below. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy your armour more than what you do now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a video on here now, which I filmed before when we took this to the skate park. And it had the standard radio in there and you can see all the delay. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to put the last video in where I tested this radio and this servo with that. Uh, and I'm going to put all that on this video to save you having to click away. Uh, so, um, hope you like the video. Uh, watch these next two clips and the link to all this stuff down below. But really, uh, I think that even though this is a relatively cheap car, it would have been nice if they would have just stuck with this radio. And you know, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get that they stick in budget servos to keep the cost down. But, um, yeah, you know, if you're into RC, if you want the best experience... Uh, then a lot of the time we do have to change out some of these electronics. So let's go over to these other clips and uh, I'll see you there. So I'm running a 4S LiPo Zot Power. I'm going to put a link to this battery down below. I've been running these on the X-Max for the past God knows how long. They've been all good so far. Loads of power and uh, dirt cheap. Link down below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't put it out of that one. Oh, you saved that just. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit unpredictable in the air. Is when it? you're doing the front on brake, it's. It's going to take some getting used to the X-Max, it's kind of like you nail it and it can't, yeah. I think it's because I'm used to it. You've got to get used to it, it's the same with me, the oh, granite. Oh, don't need the body already. Oh, right, I'm just quickly going to butt in here. Um, the problem I was having was that delay, I couldn't really pin it down what it was. But the unpredictability, I didn't know if it was the ESC if it, or what it was or if it was me just getting used to it. But it was none of that, it was the big, massive, great big delay and you'll see me crash this. Uh, a lot more often than normal. It's so difficult to pull it out of the jumps. Uh, normally with the X-Max or anything else uh, where the response is instant, it's easy to control it in the air, it's easy to steer it. This thing on that stock radio, guys, it's, it's, it's really that bad. <laughs> Taking it so far, 
There we go, I'm gonna try not to hit ya. <laughs> oh. Right, flat out, here we come. Ah, oh, me. The steering is very unpredictable. Definitely got to put a better servo in here. That's going to be the. Nah, it's the steering so slow. Oh, over Pat's head. Oh, over Pat's head. The steering is atrocious. It's got no. It's just so slow. Flat out. Here we come. Ah, oh, man. Steering is so bad. It's unreal. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, she took it! She oh did. no, she didn't! <laughs> Oh no, what happened? <laughs> oh no! Oops. Is it fixable? Oh! No, it's still in the link. Oh. Alright, that's game over guys. Well, I'll be out in a couple of months then. <laughs> well, she took a good beating. She did. I mean, it definitely needs a better servo. The servo is a massive weak spot and I've got to get the hang of the response in the air. It feels like there's some sort of a delay there or maybe I'm just not used to it. Because like with the, with the X-Max, what I'm more used to, it kind of does what I tell it. Whilst with this, it kind of, it's got a bit of a delay there. Welcome to Noble. <laughs> Subscribe! Oh, here we go, first go. Oh guys, check that out. It's moving on carpet. Oh, fast as well. Oh, slipper clutch is slipping. That's not good. Let's give it a quick blast anyway. Rumble. Guys, that response now. It's bang on, it's instant. Now it's easy to drive. This is what it should be like. Man, this thing's fast. <laughs> Guys, massive improvement, like day and night. This is how it should be. I mean, the response now is instant. The steering works as it should, and this is how it should be. I mean, uh, yes, you don't need to go out and spend this much on a radio, uh, although this is an all singing and all dancing radio. It's got many model memories on there. I think 20 or 10 or 30 or 40, I don't know. Have a look on the link down below. It'll tell you on there. Uh, so all you gotta do is buy receivers. You can put those receivers into every model that you've got. So you only need one controller then. Uh, and then you, all you gotta do is buy a receiver every time you've got a different model. Then when you go out bashing, uh, you've got all your models all on the same radio. Now, if you don't wanna spend this sort of money on this sort of radio, and as I said, guys, price-wise, it's good for what you get. But this one here really is dirt cheap and this has got super laser fast response. So you're going to get that same crispy feeling with this as you would with that. I mean, you've got no touch screen. You haven't got all the features of that. It's just, it's a fairly basic radio. Uh, but for a dirt cheap one, it's even got a gyro built into the receiver. You don't have to run it. You can run it on or you can run it off. But anyway, this video is not about that. But if you want to make your armor more responsive and feel nicer to drive, Definitely chuck in a better servo. Uh, so link to this servo down below. Uh, that is absolutely perfect for this so far. If it breaks later on, then I will share it with you. But so far, it's been perfect. And ATS Steve runs these servos actually in his uh, Savage. And it's the only servo that he's actually had in there so far. Because Steve always buys sort of cheap servos normally. And so far, uh, the JX is the only servo that's lasted for, I think, 
over a year now, I think. And he does give it some stick, and he's had no troubles yet with the JX. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, guys. Links to all the stuff down below. We're going to take this out to the skate park again soon. BMX Trank. We're going to air the thing out. And now I can actually enjoy the thing how it should be. I mean, before, with this piece of junk here, it was just no fun at all. It was just frustrating. And this hobby's got to be fun. So now, with the modifications, hopefully this should be, like, really be some fun. I mean, outside there in the park, parking lot... It was brilliant. Uh, on the skate park and BMX track, it should be even better, and I can't wait. thumbs up if you like the video, give us a thumbs down if you suck, subscribe, smash the bell button so notified and check out some of these other videos and I'll see you over there in a minute.